Vamos a buscarlo. That's Spanish for let's get after it. Dusty, who do you have? Hey, and did you hear Mike uh, Tyson speak in Italian on the Hannity show? His Italian was awesome. <laughs> Mike Tyson was talking about his upcoming fight. And he was speaking in fluent Italian. Let me just tell you something, and you, I know you know a lot about Mike Tyson, but I spent a day with Mike Tyson in a room. We were pitching a show. This is many years ago. That man is unbelievable. His knowledge base is like he's like he's got a library in his brain. He's really quite well, an look, outstanding guy. He'll always be a controversial figure. Um, he's got his own take on accusations made against him, but I got to tell you. He has continued to try to expand himself, that's for sure. All right, who do you got? Okay, let's go to Jeannie in uh, Texas, Austin, Texas. Oh, look, you finally have a News Nation shirt on. Good. You, like, wear every other call signal. At least finally you got this one. Good, good. All right, what's your question? Hi, Chris. I, I have more of a, I guess, comment. But, um, I, you know, I voted for Biden. Not going to vote for him again. Um, I don't think he's been a good president. Too long to go into. We could go, you know, that would take too long. Um, and I'm not going to vote for Trump. I'm politically homeless. I was kind of mm. going toward RFK, but his backtrack on his abortion stance, I, I don't want to vote for anybody who backtracked on anything. I want them so to don't. either stand, you know, so tell, what is it? How, you know, what's a person like me supposed to do? I'll tell you. I'll raise my hand. I have an answer. Uh, don't vote for president. Vote down ballot. Vote for the congressional seats. Vote for the local seats. People say, well, that's giving away your vote. No, it isn't. The voices, uh, the choices suck. The choices suck. Oh, yeah, but you still have to pick. No, that's how we got in this mess, Jeannie, is that we started a culture of accommodation. Oh, yeah, I know it's bad, but you got to pick the less worse. You don't do that anywhere else in your life, okay? I think I'll marry him because the other guy's even more of a jerk. You know what I'm saying? That's not the way you do things. And we shouldn't do it in our politics. Don't vote for president if that's the way you feel. Vote down ballot. Next. Okay. I was trying to find my Mike Tyson pictures, the two of us and my phone. I can't find it. Um, oh. Vanessa from Miami. I'm going to find it for the end of this block. I'm sure you will. <laughs> Vanessa, what's your question? Hi, Chris. I love your show. First of all, I'm in Miami. I'm right now in my yacht. I watch you every single night. My Thank question you. is, yes, my question is, do you think that uh, Trump will get the blacks and the Hispanics by going to no. Bronx? Uh, I don't, 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 don't lump them, first of all, okay? Very different populations. Neither is a monolith, right? Not all blacks live in the hood, right? <laughs> you have plenty of different socioeconomic strata. They are disproportionately um, more affected by poverty, therefore more sensitive to inflation in those populations. But the Hispanics are a very different voting group. Also, not monolithic, but more so than black voters. Now, you can say, what are you talking about? The blacks vote Democratic all the time. There's a huge, that's, it's complicated. There's a huge concentration in urban areas. Um, and that's why on those municipal side votes, uh, they've built up a Democratic base. But nothing is forever. Do I think Trump's going to get those votes in New York City? Hell no. I don't think he's going to get those votes. But remember, there are a lot of big city minority populations in states that do matter and are in play. And if the needle moves even a little bit, it could matter. Next. Next, we are going to go to Mr. Positive. Oh, Mr. Positive. I had a buddy, another guy who wanted to call in for my radio show. I guess he didn't. Lee from Atlanta didn't call? No, I anyway, have Lee. Got, We're going to have Lee next. Give me Lee. Oh, good. Hey, you guys, you there? Mr. Positive. Yes. Yeah, how you good. doing, bud? Good, my friend. Hey, thanks for taking my call. I got to ask you, can Supreme Court justices be objective? Can anybody really be objective? Yes. You love reading meditations where you grew up with the great Cuomo family. Can you um, think outside the conditions that you were raised in? We're talking yes. about the game and how do we change if, if we can only be if we can't be objective? Objective isn't the standard. Fairness is the standard. All right, you're a human being. You have feelings. That's what you're referring to. You're right, Mr. Positive. Can the justices uh, go beyond their own personal limitations? And of course, of course, that's what we're banking on, right? That's why they're the highest court in the land. That's why you're supposed to have the best there. 
Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of NewsNation's fact-driven coverage.